So the best kept secret in all of Dallas Fort Worth, I think is Lucas, Texas. You probably have never heard of it because most people haven't. But the reason I think it's one of the best kept secrets is because it's like country living, but smack dab in the middle of the city and nobody knows about it. Beyond the fact that it's got one of the top rated school systems, Lovejoy, which I'm sure you've never heard of, in the whole state of Texas. So I'm going to start here at the lake because it actually is um, on Lake Levon, which is beautiful. I'm on a boat ramp right now where you can put your boat into the water and it's got great fishing, swimming, there's restaurants. It's just a lot of fun in Lucas, but yet you are 10 minutes from so many things down here, restaurants, dining, all the best stuff about Dallas Fort Worth but yet still in the country. So I'm gonna show you some great houses. I'm gonna show you some great areas to just live life in. And with that being said, let's get going. So I'm sitting here on the shore of Lake Levon, and I wanted to give you guys some facts about Lucas. First of all, the population is right under 8,000, so it is a very small town. So Lucas is bordered by cities like Allen and McKinney, so there's so much to do, even though you feel like you're living in a small town. Now, I will say that it is more expensive to live here. The average home price is gonna be about 750,000. You're not gonna get into Lucas today at the filming of this video for less than probably 650,000 and those houses are going to definitely need renovation. All of the major houses come at the million dollar mark and that's because there's very few properties that are under an acre. Mo most of them are an acre plus even multiple acres and the houses are very very large. So it's definitely country luxury which is even better because you can feel the peacefulness here, and that's throughout the whole city. It's really nice. The average household income is 160,000, and Lovejoy ISD is ranked A+. It's actually one of the highest ranked school districts in the entire state of Texas. And what's cool about Lovejoy is it's so small, they've only got one high school, that there are some other cities like Wiley and Murphy that they're not in. Lovejoy ISD. I think it's like 11,000 tuition to get your kid into Lovejoy ISD if you don't live in Lucas. So it shows you how great of a school district it really is. Now Lucas, as far as uh, downtown Dallas, you're looking at about 45 minute drive. So if you work in Dallas, I don't know if Lucas would be the right place for you, but if you're looking for that small town feel, that's surrounded by big cities, then it, it really could be the best place for you, but the price point's higher. As far as shopping in Lucas, you do have some. They have a Walmart, a Chipotle, and a Starbucks. So those are major. For all of your major dining and shopping, you're gonna wanna go to Allen. It's the closest. There are shops at Allen, Village, Village of Allen, there's outlet malls in Allen. There's Waters Creek in Allen. All are amazing and worth uh, the 10-minute drive over there, 15-minute drive. So our vlog tour is going to be a little bit different today because there's not a ton of huge subdivisions out here. There are very few, if any, master-planned communities because the lots are so big. They generally, I'm just going to kind of show you what some of the houses look like and what the price points are. So with that being said, let's get on with the tour. So I wanted to bring you to this house in Lucas because it's the highest price point on market as of this video and it's beautiful. See it? So it's a 6,000 square foot J. Anthony home. It was actually the model when this subdivision was built. and I'm going to show you some houses that are just stunning. The cool thing about this house, it's got six bedrooms, six and a half baths with a pool. The whole back wall in front of the pool is a glass wall that completely opens. So you have the living room kitchen open to the incredible backyard, but it's 2,075,000. So 2.75. That shows you what Lovejoy and Lucas can bring in real estate because it is a higher end area 
but the beauty and the school district, like I've already told you, is well worth it. Broadmoor Estates actually began being built in 2013. These are one to two acre lots and the average square feet of homes in this neighborhood is right around 5,000. They are big, beautiful estates and the average home price in this neighborhood sits at about 1.3 million. Rockland Farms mostly features expansive homes that are competitively priced. It is a well-established community that started construction in 2007 and actually completed it in 2013. Home prices are gonna be in the low million dollar range and the square feet is anywhere from 4,500 all the way up to 5,000. All lots are going to be about one acre. The Farmstead is a brand new community. All of the homes are on about two acres and you buy the land and then build your custom home on it. So if that is something that you desire to do, reach out and I'll get you more information. Travis Ranch Estates is amazing and the community dates back to 2000 and construction was actually completed around 2004. It's mainly sprawling and expansive homes and the funniest thing about it is none of these homes have sold in the last seven to eight years. So once somebody gets into Travis Ranch Estates, they don't want to leave and they're anywhere from one acres all the way up to five plus acres. So on the rare chance that one of these comes on the market, you need to take a look because they're amazing. Well, that wraps up our video tour of Lucas, Texas. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's one of the best kept secrets here in the whole Metroplex. I'm thankful that you watch. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of our videos. Hit the thumbs up showing us your appreciation. Comment below. We will get your questions answered. And thank you so much for watching this video. And until the next video, I hope you have a great rest of your day.